So my girlfriend and I went to Greece a couple months ago and while we were there, I had a new DSLR camera that had a GPS built in and I thought it'd be cool to get a visualization of some of the places that we went by pulling the GPS data off the images and then creating a heat map of it. And it worked, but it was kind of a cumbersome process. I had to uh, write up some HTML and JavaScript and find a way to parse out the uh, exif data from the images in such a way that the JavaScript could read it and interpret it and build a heat map out of it. So it definitely was not an automated process. And when I shared one of those images on Facebook, I had a friend who was curious about how I did it. That inspired me to automate the process, and that's what I've done here. This is the final product. It's being served on a Docker container that's running a Nginx web server on 8080. And you can zoom in. This is from about 300 images that we took while we were in Greece. So to get started, you need a Google Maps JavaScript API key, and you need to have Docker installed. Docker, if you don't know too much about it, don't worry. It's a platform for running containers, which are just isolated environments. We need one to run the node script that does the conversion of the images and pulling the data. And then we need to run a different Docker container that creates the web server and serves up the heat maps in the final product. But I've abstracted that away in the code that I wrote. So here's the GitHub repo. If you scroll down here, I have links included for Docker and how to get a Google Maps API key. So to get started, you just want to whoops, copy the uh, repo. So we do a git clone, there we go. So we clone that repo, it'll pull it down, and then we'll CD into it to see what's there. There's a few different folders here. Really all you need to worry about are the IMG directory. That's where you're going to put your raw images. And here's the run.sh script. And that's the thing that actually pulls everything together and processes the images and then serves up the heat maps. Uh, so we'll open up the IMG directory right here. And then I'm going to drag in a few extra images. So now that we have the images in that directory, we can just invoke the run script. It's going to ask for a Google Maps API key. It'll pull the exif data off the images, and then it starts the Docker container on port 8080. If we open that up, we can refresh. And here it is. So hopefully that's easy enough to use, and hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching.